So thanks to my beautiful audience, we have finally discovered what the Scream and Terror Bloody Harvest Shield actually does. And wow people, it's amazing. How's it going guys? My name is DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so the other day I posted a video on the Bloody Harvest exclusive legendaries and how each of these four legendaries have hidden perks. These hidden perks are triggered via you being under that terror effect. A terror effect times 3 does some great things to these weapons and the shield. The fear monger shotgun, both the 4 times and 8 times versions gain 4 additional projectiles at no extra cost to your ammo. The Stalker Sniper Rifle, under 3 stacks of terror, gains triple its initial burst of 3 shots, so it goes from 3 shots to 9 shots at no extra cost to your ammo. And the Gas Cool Grenade, under 3 stacks of terror, it spawns in almost 50% additional goals. There could even be more here people, I'm not even sure. They all seek and destroy also. The grenade is absolutely amazing and in my opinion, the best thing to come out of this Bloody Harvest event. Now the shield in this video, I wasn't sure what it actually did. I knew how to trigger its perk, but at the same time, I had no idea what the effect was doing. So basically, on shield break, you unleash a scream. When you do this next to an enemy, when you're under that 3 stack of terror, their health bars go green and they become immune to your damage. At the time of posting the video, I had no idea what this did. So I went with the theory you just basically terrify them. But later on that night I went back to read some of your comments, seeing a lot of people mentioning that maybe this turns enemies into allies for a few seconds. And while yeah, you were right you sexy bunch of bastards. So thanks to each and everyone who commented and credit to you guys for helping me with this follow up video. As looking back over the video a lot of people were guessing at first, but a few of you did know what this did. But because the majority actually don't know what this does, it makes this video a little more helpful. So thanks again to each and every one of you. So as you can see now, breaking your shield near an enemy while under that terror effect turns them into allies and they fight for you, not against you. And this only lasts about 5 seconds. Now me being me, I wanted to test this a little further. How big of the enemy can you do this on? Because as we know it works on these normal ads, these normal size ads, and we know it works on small bosses like Gigamind. But what about bosses like Captain Haunt, the big bastard? Can I make him an ally? So away I went. I will state it, it didn't seem to work for me unless my shield was full, or almost full. When I had a little bit of shield and I was breaking it myself, it didn't seem to work. So I went to Captain Haunt, and it turns out guys, yes you can, even big bosses like Haunt become your ally via using the shield's hidden perk. So I wanted to go a step further, as I was thinking, because they're now your allies, will they rush to your aid if you need reviving? Well, check this out. The answer is no, they don't, they leave your ass to die. Ok so the last thing I wanted to test was to see if this worked on Gravewood as he is the biggest boss in the game and well although it was at first hard getting close to him without sliding off and dying I actually did it in the end and yes people it even works on Gravewood, pretty cool if you ask me, shame I can't have him as a pet though. So yeah people testing down the Scream of Terror shield upon being under 3 stacks of terror releases a secret perk on shield break which turns enemies into allies for around 5 seconds. How cool is that? Now this is a shield exclusive to the Bloody Harvest event. If you haven't got it now you've got it until the 5th of December when this event ends to get the shield because when this event does end on the 5th of December all the four exclusive legendaries tied to this event do disappear. So get what you need people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.